my name is Katie Sainors with Sainors Wealth Management and in this video we're going to talk about cryptocurrency and accounting methods. FIFO, LIFO and HIFO. That based on the accounting method you use it will be huge difference in capital gains at the end of the year. When should you use that HIFO method? Let's get going. The Internal Revenue Service allows you to use the following methods, accounting methods, for your cryptocurrencies. First in, first out, last in, first out, and highest in, first out. I'll give you three different common scenarios and they're color coded. Uh, I'm using same coin as an example. On June 1st, you buy one same coin for fifty thousand dollars. Month later, on July first, you buy one more same coin for eighty-five thousand dollars. And month later, on August first, you buy one more same coin for seventy-five thousand dollars. On October first, you decide to sell one of your three coins for the price of ninety thousand dollars. The IRS treats cryptocurrency as property. When you sell it, you incur capital gain tax. So the capital gain calculated by taking your sale price minus your cost basis, so when you purchase it, that equals capital gain. First, let's see our FIFO method. First in, first out. That's the IRS default method. With first in, first out, you take $90,000, that is your sale price, and you subtract $50,000 because that's the first coin you purchased on June 1st. And you arrive at your capital gain of $40,000. What is the best to use FIFO method, first in, first out? It works the best in the falling crypto markets. It will result in less capital gains. As I said earlier, it's the most common method used, the most conservative, easiest for record keeping. Next is our LIFO method. Last in, first out. What is our capital gain based on last in, first out accounting method? We sell the coin for 90000 We sell the coin that we purchased last. That will be August 1st at $75,000. And our capital gain will be $15,000. You can see it's a drastic difference between the first in, first out method and last in, first out. When should you use LIFO method? It works best in a rising crypto market will result in less capital gains, best to use if you have significant amount of short-term capital gains, and you have to have really accurate record keeping. Last one, high fall. It is not very common, but it is popular for cryptocurrencies. It's highest in, first out. So the highest amount was coin that we purchased on July 1st. So our sell price of $90,000 minus $85,000 for the coin we purchased on July 1st will result in capital gain of only $5,000. So you will see that based on the accounting method you use, it will be huge difference in capital gains at the end of the year. When should you use that HIFO method, highest in, first out? Similar to LIFO, it works best in rising crypto markets. Will result in less capital gains in this case. Could result in very substantial tax savings. But usually it's the hardest one to keep track of. You should use some additional software to keep track. Starting 2023, 
exchanges will issue 1099B. Some of you might receive them already this year. It will look similar to this form. You will have description of the property. In this case, we have same coin. Date acquired, date sold disposed, your proceeds in our example 90,000 and basis in our example is 50. And of course, it will specify whatever it's short term gain or loss or a long term gain or loss. If you held your currency for 12 months or less, that will be short term gain or loss. For currency that you held for over 12 months will be a long term gain or loss. Short term capital gains are taxed at your ordinary tax rates for your tax brackets. For long term gains, they tax at a different tax rate, much lower. You can refer to a schedule if you would like to see uh, exact brackets. Let's talk about a common question regarding this three accounting methods. The main thing to keep in mind is that holding period and accounting method will impact your tax bill, which makes tracking of your trades extremely important. How would you select a specific accounting method? As I said earlier, by default, it's FIFO. Some exchanges wouldn't allow for a specific identification election within the platform. If the exchange doesn't allow the election, you will need to complete it manually or use crypto tax software. Can you change accounting methods from year to year? Yes, you can. It's allowed. But it might throw a red flag at the IRS, and it makes really complicated accounting. Chances of errors are really high. Quick overview. FIFO, first in, first out. Works best in the falling crypto market. Use it if you're bad at record keeping. This is the default method for the IRS. LIFO, last in, first out. Opposite, works best at the rising crypto markets. Use it if you're good at accurate record keeping. And the last one, HIFO, highest in, first out. Same as LIFO, works the best in the rising crypto market. Results in the substantial tax savings. You have to have very accurate record keeping. Regardless of accounting method you're going to choose, the most important thing is to keep track of all your trades. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.